Hello everyone and welcome to the video. Today I'm going to talk about DMX controllers, DMX lights and how to calculate and set your DMX address. This seems to be confusing a lot of people because there's more than one way to calculate it. But I'm going to show you the easiest and most effective way to do it without having to be a rocket scientist or a mathematician. Believe me, there's nothing simpler than that. Now, uh, a lot of people ask me, how uh, do I choose a controller? I always suggest that you buy a controller that has more uh, fixture inputs and DMX channels than you actually need because this way, if you want to expand in the future, you won't be limited and you'll be able to add more lights to your show. So, step number one is always read the instruction manual of your fixture because your, your uh, manual will explain to you how to set your fixture in DMX mode because most DMX fixtures have two modes, auto mode and DMX mode. So if you do not set it in DMX mode, regardless of whether you have the address or you've plugged it into the controller, it will not work. So very important, read the manual, set it in DMX mode, and then you're ready to go. Okay. Now, keep in mind the number 16 throughout this whole video, and I'll explain to you why it's very important in this case. Okay. All right. So... You've read the manual, you've set it in DMX mode, now we're ready for address number one. So address number one basically is we're going to take the fixture and regardless of what type of fixture it is, as long as it's got dip switches or a display to be able to set the address, you're ready to go. And I'll talk about the display type afterwards. We'll focus on the dip switch type for now. All right, so as you notice, I have dip switch number one on the on position, okay, because it's the number one fixture. And, but you see, if you notice, I also have the 10 pin down. Now, why is that? Well, that's exactly the reason why I explained to you that you have to read the manual because the manual told me for this particular fixture, I have to have the dip switch number 10 on all the time in order to be in DMX mode. Okay, so there you go. So step number one, manual, dip switch, number one in the one position, and you're ready to go. So this guy, if you set, if you hook it up to your controller, basically your controller has an output, which you connect the XLR cable here to the input, and then you're ready to go. Now this output of this fixture now will be linked to your second fixture of which we're gonna talk about now. So here's where most people get confused. What do you do now? You wanna set your second address because you wanna hook up another fixture. Well, it's very easy. First of all, I'm gonna to try to put the link to this chart on the uh, at the bottom for you guys to be able to download because this chart is the, sort of like the Bible. It is the absolute most quickest way to be able to figure out your DMX address. And I'll explain to you why. First of all, before we get, begin with that, actually, I'll explain to you also that I'm using in particular a Chauvet 12 fixture input uh, which is here, 12 fixture input and 16 DMX channels, okay? Now, remember once again, number 16, 16 DMX channels, right? Here we go. So, now we're ready to set our address for the fixture number two. All you have to do is very simple. You add one plus 16, which gives you 17, of course. So, you go to your chart, and, oops, got it upside down, there we go. You go to your chart, and your chart has two columns, a channel and a dip switch on column, okay? So, you go down to the number 17 channel, and it tells you to put dip switch one and five on. So, all you gotta do is, you go to your second fixture, and you put dip switch one and five on, and that's what that looks like, okay? And there you go. Now you've successfully linked fixture number one and fixture number two to your controller and it's ready to go. What happens if you want to add a third one? Well, once again, you add 16 to your last address. So now, if you remember, actually I'll show you here, I have a little chart for you which will make it even clearer. Is like so. This is fixture number one, and we positioned dip switch number one on. Then we took one, and we added 16, and we got 17. 17 was the channel for fixture number two, and the chart told us to put dip switch number one and five on. So now we're simply going to do exactly the same thing. 
we're going to add 16 to 17. And why 16? Because the controller has 16 DMX channels. So, which will give us a total of 33. So now 33 is the channel for number three. So, you basically go back to your chart and you go to channel 33 and it tells you that you have to put dip switch one and six on. So, you take your third fixture, regardless of what type of fixture it is, as long as it's got dip switches and basically you put dip switch one and six on and there you go it's that easy we'll do it one more time let's say we want to add a fourth fixture to our chain same deal our last fixture was channel 33 so now we take 33 and we add 16 which equals 49. Now 49 is the channel for number four. You look at your chart and it's the same formula. You go to channel 49 and it tells you dip switch one, five, and six. And what do you do? Same deal, you grab your fourth fixture and you simply add one, five, and six on the on position. That's what that looks like and you're ready to go. It is that simple. Nothing easier to do. Now, let's say you had the different type of uh, effect with the display. So now, basically, depending on, like I said, always read your manuals, okay? So in this case, I have a LED bar, okay? So now, it's already plugged in, and the first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna try to do this for you. I'm not sure if I'll be able to read it upside down, but nevertheless, let's see if I can pull this off for you guys. All right, so now basically you go to your menu like so. Normally, you're going to, you know, just scroll up and down until you find ADDR, which means address. So once you have that, then you're going to enter it. So you press enter and now you're ready. So basically, now all you have to do is add the channel number, which in this case I already did. I added channel 49 because this would be my fourth fixture. And it's that simple. It's ready to go. If you needed to add a different channel, then you go up or you go down and you find the actual channel that you need and you're ready to go. It's set. It's really that simple. Like I said, you don't have to be a mathematician or a rocket scientist. Now, because on some of the videos out there, they're trying to explain it from a different direction, you know, and it just gets really confusing. And I can understand why, because I was confused too at the beginning. And I said, there has to be a different way, an easier way to do this. This is exactly it. Now, if you notice, the number 16 was always spoke, uh, spoken about. Why? Because the controller has 16 DMX channels, and that's what determines how to calculate your address, not the other way around. It doesn't matter how many channels your fixture has. It's how many channels your controller has, and that's how you determine your address. And I'll give you an example. Let's just say, for argument's sake, that we were using, or I was using a four-channel DMX controller that can only, let's say, uh, plug four fixtures. So now it's the same type of math, but now the magic number will no longer be 16, it'll be four. I'll show you. Let's say this is our first fixture. So obviously we're gonna put the first fixture dip switch number one on like the other one. But now instead of adding 16, we're gonna add four because this controller has only four DMX channels. So we add one plus four, it gives us five. So now five is our new uh, add a channel for number two fixture. So you do the same thing. You go to the chart and you look up the channel, which is five, and it'll tell you to put dip switch one and three on. So you simply put dip switch one and three on. You want to add a third fixture to your four channel DMX controller, just as easy. Our last channel was number five, so we're gonna add five plus four 
equals nine. You take that number, you go to your chart, and you look up channel nine. And there you go, nine equals one and four. You simply put dip switch one and four on, and you're ready to go. So in the end, don't get confused. What's important is knowing how many DMX channels your controller has. If you know that, you will never be confused, you'll never be lost, and you'll always be able to find your addresses. Obviously, you're gonna need this chart to help you, and that's the trick to all of this, but there is no easier way to do this. So I hope this cleared things up for you and, and you'll be able to finally uh, do things quickly and the right way. So have a good gig and I'll try to get, find some time to put another video together and show you guys how to actually start setting everything up and using the controller, all right? So take care and have a good time.